hey, Mad Dog, please get closer to the camera as you yell <laughs> what your opinions are. Another MVP podcast. My name is Dale, and today we're talking about Dan Lebetard continuing his vicious, relentless attack on ESPN and Stephen A. Smith. Check it out. I'm laughing here because I just love on first take, I can't help it, how they're doing. Hey, Mad Dog, please get closer to the camera as you yell what your opinions are. <laughs> oh, my are. God. I like please that. go. I, it's so funny. Just He is so close to the camera, and he looks great for his age. He, he, really, he does. really does. Yeah. I, it's just unbelievable. But the graphic, it just says, what are you mad about? Mad Dog is mad about NFL running backs complaining. <laughs> running backs sound off after no long-term deals reached for Saquon Barkley, Josh Jacobs, and Tony Pollard. Can I just say, and I'm going to, for the viewing audience, I know the podcast audience isn't going to appreciate this, but I appreciate what Mad Dog is doing because we have this massive space here and we never utilize it. We sit at our desk like we're still at the Clevelander in that closet. When in reality, and now this is the part where the audio audience is going to lose me, I can walk around here and do all sorts of things over here. Look at this. Look at all this space. I could be like Mad Dog running up the cameras. Wall camera. Where's the camera? There it is. Oh, oh, there, there, there. Yeah, like over here, right? Hey, hey. Well, hold on a second. Hold on. So let's do this. Let's have you give all of your running back takes while going to cameras <laughs> and finding where the cameras are, getting as close to the cameras as you can. I want you to go ahead and play with this, even though I like to think of this as just an audio medium that doesn't know it's being watched. Do the show you want to do. Do the show that's going to be more like Oddball, the show that you do with Charlotte Wilder, which is well Amin well El Hassan. El Hassan, Amin Al El Amin Hassan uh, leads us. El Amin in, Hassan. Uh, he leads us into. I'm sorry, your name. I don't mean to disrespect you. El, 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 El Hassan. El E Hassan. Uh, do the show you want to do. All right, so first of all, you got to have a dead fish here for what Dan just did. All right, running backs, they're playing undervalued for – The mic's getting caught in my thing. Yeah. Undervalued for most of their careers before they're up for free agency. So the problem here is when you're playing for free in college, when you're playing – uh, for All right, sit down. Mad Dog, Mad is, Dog much he's much better, better yeah. at this. You don't know where the, the, know where the cameras camera. are. Yeah. You Here's know. the problem. I'll help you. you, you keep bumping you into know, the mic. You know what? what Mad Dog has? A mic that's clipped on, and that's what we have at Oddball, too. Oh, sorry. my Lord. Sorry All right, you guys go, have... All right, go outside like a professional, get a mic that's clipped on, and then come back in here and do it correctly you know or in the interim. You think I won't do it, but I will. All right, I, I don't think Is that you a threat? Do it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I will. I shall. Uh, I'll be back. Stugatz, do, do it you, well, though? I mean, do you want to try? Uh, let's do it another way. Stugatz, because he doesn't work for Samson, Samson works for him, and because uh, he doesn't work for video, video works for him. Stugatz, you have at it, and camera people, I want you to zone in on Stugatz until you're in his mouth. I, I want to just oh, keep no. getting closer and closer as Stugatz gives his take. So, Stugatz, give your running back take right now uh, as the camera just ends up zooming in on you. Your opinion on running backs becoming disposable. I am tired of hearing from these running backs who are complaining how difficult their job is, how hard it is, how they get the most carries, how they get hit the most. Do me a favor. You are aware at this point, if you're a running back, growing up playing football, and the position you chose as running back, you realize that once you get to the NFL level, if you get to the NFL level, you're not going to get paid. You're going to get paid for five years, then they're going to draft another running back. And I have a solution for all young running backs out there. Change position. It's on you. It's not on the NFL. It's not on anyone but you. You want to play in the NFL? You want to play for a long time? You want to get paid a lot of money? Play quarterback? Play wide receiver? Play cornerback? Play safety? Play tackle? Play fullback? Punt the ball? Kick the ball. You know what you don't do? You don't become a running back. That's what you don't do. 
Excellent take. Camera work needs to catch up to the take because we don't have the reach to go inside yet of Stugatz's mouth, but oh. I would like it by the end of the segment. His face is like a forest of yuck. Yes, it's gross. It's, Thank you. It's very red, and uh, that is Uh-oh. that is what Hater looks like. It, there's an industry in it. He is following the lane carved out by Mad Dog. My just, mentor. Just continue to undercut the athlete until the running back who has no value has even less value. Play tackle. That's classic that, doggy that, now. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, so that so that the running back who's making less than the kicker, you say he's still making too much. Yeah. Well, be a kicker in school. Now I've got tackle. I've got Saquon Barkley now playing left tackle and kicking. Make yourself more valuable. A two-way player. If, listen, if all of you want to be more valuable, you know what you need to do. You need to be Otani, all of you, if you want to be more valuable. Do all the things. Boom. Uh, Amin, are you now ready? I, I will say this for history's sake. Amin Al Hassan came into my and our loving, hairy bosom because his very first day at ESPN, very first day from a front office, knowing next to nothing, he was hugely frustrated because they made him come out of a place and stand on a mark. And he, he, like, logically and spiritually, he's like, why do I have to do the job so precisely that there's no actual comfort or authenticity in what it is I'm doing? It's just stand out, stand on a mark, and, uh, you know, step out on a stage, stand on a mark, and do it the way it's always been done. So, I mean, perhaps we can go deeper into your mouth because we were limited by Stugatz. You go ahead and give your take with a now a clip-on microphone. That's right. I had the better take, though, right? Well, let's see if Amin has improved his take or his ability to do this wandering all around the studio. The studio, you have all of the studio to wander around. I want this to end, though, with the the camera being inside of your mouth. (laughs) So go ahead. Baby. All right, so here's the deal. When we're talking about running backs, most of their longevity is eaten up in college and in their first few years in the pro. But because of the NFL system of rookie scale pay, preventing them from getting true market value until their sixth or seventh uh, year in the league, they're continuously getting underpaid, used, and then cast aside for a new batch of people who are coming in to be underpaid on the rookie scale. Dan, that's not fair. The running backs need to be held to a different accountability when it comes to their pay. They need to get paid more than quarterbacks, more than than wide receivers, more than tight ends who are of the same number of years of service. And you might say, wow, that's unfair. But the reality is their role is no less important than it's ever been. Everyone keeps saying, oh, it's a passing league. It's a passing league. But the reality is the running game is still vital to a good NFL offense, and without it, there is no possession control, there is no time of clock control, and without them, you are lost. You need running backs. The problem is they get used up within the first six years, and there's always a cheaper option available. Pay them more, I say. Make sure that they are the ones that are going to be compensated rightly for their contributions to winning. Ha. <sighs> Man, uh, Stugatz is good at this. <laughs> and Mad Dog huh? is better than both of them. <laughs> well, he's my mentor. Uh, uh, yeah. Now, this does not look like it was planned to me, but this is a complete mockery of number one, Mad Dog Russo, okay, ESPN. And then because he's mocking ESPN, of course, he's mocking Stephen A. Smith. All right, because those production tactics come from First Take Show. All right, there's no other um, show where there's yelling into the screen and the camera looking into people's mouth, all right, and trying to get the effect, get this entertainment um, pushing to the maximum aside from first take. So this is Stephen A. Smith's show. So this is another shot at Stephen A. Smith. Oh, it seems like Dan Levitard, he did not get over Stephen A. Smith going on a show and calling him out. Right, uh, his response, it wasn't a hundred percent, but it seems as though he's hitting him in multiple indirect ways, all right, and not direct, right, which can be confusing for Stephen A. or you know anybody who is an opponent of somebody else. You don't see Dan Lebertard angry at all, even though Stephen A. called him out on the show, all right. 
So we see him coming with segment after segment, disrespecting uh, ESPN, First Take, and now Mad Dog Russo, okay, <laughs> who they claim just yells at the at the camera all day, and which I believe to be true. On top of that, it seems like Dan Levitard really does not like this whole entertainment first thing, and I believe that's why he continues to push against it and continues to call it out, continues to criticize it. At the core, I think we all believe that you know it's dumb it does not make sense you know and we should get back to the real sports analysis okay instead of um just entertainment analysis anyhow i found it funny and i'm happy that el amin was able to be a part of it because Stephen a really destroyed his um his name they made it seem that he did it on purpose all right which maybe he could who knows anyhow that's it so until next time